In our last video, we left off in the Midwest. We had just stopped through for a quick trip to the Gateway Arch before heading on to Kansas. While the Midwest is gorgeous, we couldn't have been more excited to finally see those West Coast mountains again in Colorado. Nothing like getting our breakfast at a food truck at a gas station. They were so nice. He put me in front and was like, I'm making a bunch of bacon, you can go ahead and have yours. <laughs> so, we got fresh, hot bacon burritos. I can't smell it with the mask on. We discovered that place last time, remember that? I do remember that. Grand Junction, we call it our black hole which doesn't sound very nice. Grand Junction's actually a great little town, but we call it our black hole because we came here last year and thought we were just gonna stop for the afternoon. I think we were doing some grocery shopping and our plan was to head on out to Moab after that. And then we stayed for like a week. What's so great about it for us is it's a smaller town and everything's really close together. So you've got you know your grocery stores and your gym, so you can get work done, you can do your errands, and they have these amazing trails all across town. And they also have a Chipotle. You can't go wrong here. The BLM land out here is breathtaking. We actually slept here. Curbside service because our van's too tall. What are you doing? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what are you trying? To do? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> he thinks they're gonna bring him. I know. Kramer, they're not bringing you a tree, dog. <laughs> Kramer loves the coffee stands because typically every time we go through a coffee stand, they give them a treat. So. <laughs> So now he's waiting patiently, but I don't think that they're bringing him a treat today. They just asked if uh, Kramer wanted a dog treat. So they serve uh, at a lot of these coffee stands. I don't know if you can see it. But on top of the coffee, they give you a chocolate covered espresso. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're Yo. welcome. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful Thank day. Thank you. you too. Thank you. <laughs> cold overnight. Somebody commented online about our look. They <laughs> don't judge us. Somebody said, you're wearing coats with chacos. And I 
guess they find that abnormal. I don't know, I always do it. Until it gets absolutely cold, I will wear my chacos until my toes go numb. They will go white and they will go numb. That's when I change my shoes. Or maybe I'll just put socks on. <laughs> Okay, we came here one time and it was spring or early summer, I can't remember, but the waterfalls were so much stronger then. Like the, there was a lot of, I guess it was snow runoff and stuff like that from the winter that the falls were so full and this is a small fraction of what we saw. But I kind of like it in the fall because there's nobody else here and the leaves with the rocks and the desert, it just, it's really pretty. Kramer, do you want to go swimming? Are you trying to go swim? Got it though. I got it. But it uh Lost propeller's propeller. missing. Oh. It was a smooth landing on my part. <laughs> it said it had two minutes it left. It said it had two minutes left and then it just kinda glided into home right there on the edge of the fence. I can't believe you got it. I thought it was gonna be gone like yeah. down there in the canyon. Oh my gosh. sand dunes. I can't remember the name. We'll put the name on the screen. They're in Idaho. But it looks like Kramer. Could you please get it under control, my man? Right. Hush, hush. They're just kids. They're having fun, grouchy old man. You never know that this isn't Idaho. But we're in Idaho at these sand dunes, and they are the tallest standing sand dunes in North America. From the ground to the top of the tallest one, which we're going to show you guys in a little bit, it's 478 feet, I think. But they're really tall, and they're just like out in the middle of a field. So, kind of interesting. So if you come through Idaho, and it's really not that far off the interstate, it's a really cool little place. I've wanted to come here for a really long time. And we got a sled. It's $15 to rent one for that, but we have it all day if we want. We don't have that long today, because we gotta keep moving, but for a few hours, it can be, it's gonna be fun. All right, let's okay, go. Let's go. Wait, you got the sled, come this way. <laughs> Oh. 
He gets in such a mood with sand. He doesn't always act like this. It's just when he gets in sand. He's feeling really good about himself. Kramer, you know better. Kramer's been through a lot of doggy training, but you would not know that right now. <laughs> sand undoes everything. All of his training, just right out the window. All right, view from the top. Got Chris and Kramer. That is the tallest of the sand dunes. You can see people right there. Am I doing it wrong? <laughs> cool i would definitely come back here they actually have a campground or two campgrounds i want to come back and i want to camp and i want to go to the very top of the tallest sand dune it would take a while and we don't really have time we've got to make it to washington tonight i think we have like six more hours of driving today and we only have like five more hours of daylight so we're ready to get on the road but this is a really cool place for five dollars a car to get in it's well worth it i mean you could spend hours here so the sledding thing was fun i I kept like nosing diving into the sand so I kept like my the sled was like full of sand on me I think next time I don't know if I'd rent it Chris Chris had fun I had more fun watching Chris sled than I actually did sledding myself I had fun hiking to the top though like that was really fun that running down um, personal preference but it was a good experience like this is the perfect way to like get out and stretch our legs today I think we finally wore Kramer out Kramer you ready to go back to sleep Probably not. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, look at the cows with the snow on their backs. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Welcome to Washington. 